Hello, hello, hello. It's Sally Esland from Self Empowered Lifestyles. How is your day going? Woohoo! I've had a jam packed one already. All right, I just met this amazing woman that I put on my uh, podcast, Finding Your Way, Dr. Joy Peterson. She's just awesome. So stay tuned for that one coming out in a couple of weeks. All righty. So let's gain some clarity, insight, and direction about where we go today. And, uh, you know, it's an interesting time. It is quickening and uh, a lot of people are at crossroads and going, which way should I go? And our conversation this morning was really funny because we've got all this external stuff sort of coming in and just saying, do this, do that, you should be doing this. And, and even our head saying, go this way, go this way. But our heart and our soul is saying, no, but this is where I want to go. And, you know, you've got to follow that niggle inside. It's your internal GPS. It's your best guide. So, yeah, it's, I know you may be sort of at this quandary of like your head says one something, but inside you're feeling something else. Always trust your gut is what I can say. All righty, let's start with some growth. Let's see where it's taking us today. Woo-hoo-hoo. Let's see what's coming up. Oh, the card. I wish you could have seen that. It just literally, it just jumped out. It literally jumped out. So what does it say? Where are the big imbalances in my life? Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> we were just talking about, you know, being out of balance with, you know, one way or the other. Where are the big imbalances in your life? Where where are you out of balance? What are you not having balance enough of? Is it your time and energy? Is too much being drained over here or drained over there? Because the theme at the moment is cull. How are the things that are draining you, that are putting you out of balance? So where is the biggest imbalance? Is it too much spending, not enough saving, you know? A lot of people, it's all going out, out, out. And so where can you plug those holes? What can you stop where the money's going out? Where is the imbalance in your life? Not having enough fun, that's one for me. Have to have more fun. Absolutely have to have more fun. I just did a meditation and everything kept Keep coming up, go lighter and have more fun. Go lighter, let it all go. Don't get caught up in all the... The, the heavy stuff because there's a lot of heaviness around us that's trying to drag us down. So this is why I always say stick to the light and you'll be right because the heavy stuff is like quicksand. It tries to drag us down. All right, belief, belief deck. Whoops, belief deck. Believe because our beliefs can either keep us small or they can help us grow tall. So let's have a look. All right, let's see what's coming out today. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. They're starting to jump. It's like fish. <laughs> jumping out of water the cards just jump out of me so this one says am i listening to my heart's desires oh my gosh i did a podcast this morning and that is the exact card that came out as well am i listening to my heart's desires what is it that your heart is yearning for your heart is after joy which is an acronym the journey of yours so we want to have some joy some fun there's a the fun getting the download right behind my back as we're saying that tingles all over me so we need to have some and more fun to fulfill our lives right so are you listening to what your heart is yearning for having some more joy and fun in your life so you know where is it that you can increase more fun and joy into your life and have more balance as well because the balance is coming up now we always love diamonds within because that's what diamonds are formed under pressure Ooh, and this is we're not all under enough pressure at the moment this card is literally falling out it's like jumping fish everywhere this morning alrighty. this one says i am pleasantly surprised by the amount of love support and guidance that is flowing into my life that is so true just you know it's all around us we just have to sort of sit with more gratitude and just be grateful for what we do have because then we can really appreciate what is going on around us this one i am pleasantly surprised by the amount of love support and guidance that is flowing into my life just be open roll your shoulders back allow more love and light into your life it's all there it's just that we're cutting ourselves down with being too busy and not really stopping and smelling the roses and having that gratitude you know positivity and gratitude it's like they go hand in hand and it's just the best manners for the universe positivity and gratitude all righty let's just finish off with an inspiration deck shuffling away let's see if more jumping fish are going to jump out today <laughs> Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Oh no, still shuffling. They sort of like they fall out when they're ready. So it's just like I, you can't force it. You just have to keep shuffling until it feels right. Right, here we go. Here's the card. Alrighty, reach out if you're after card reading, get, gain some clarity, insight, and direction. And be patient. Good things take time. Ooh, this is where we've got to choose the what, choose the, the things that you're choosing to manifest and materialize into your life. Choose the what, put it up to the universe. And uh, let the, you know, choose the what and let the how happen because the how 
it's always magical, mystical from the universe. It's never how you expect it. You just have to sit back and wait. So just be patient because good things take time. It's called divine timing, <laughs> being in the right place at the right time. It's divine everything. So let's do a recap today. Where are the big imbalances in your life? Where do you need to have more balance? Like what do you need to let go of? What do you need to cull? Where can you stop being so busy and doing so much, right? Uh, are you listening to your heart's desires? What is it your heart is choosing? Where is your joy? What brings you joy? Do more of that. Allow more fun and love and light into your life. And be pleasantly surprised by the amount of love, support and guidance that is flowing into your life. Just sit back and allow. Just allow to receive because a lot of empaths give, 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 but it's a dynamic circle that has, of giving and receiving, and it's important to, to have a balance of both. There you go, balance of giving and receiving. Oh, there we go. We need to be receiving more. Okay, so for all you empaths who give, 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 sit back and allow to receive as well because when people give to you where you receive, it gives them joy. You know the joy you get from giving to people? Well, people also need to experience that themselves of receiving the, the joy of giving to you. So sit back and receive. Oh, that's a really big message today. So let's let's stop being so busy, get some more balance and bring some more, you know, just allow people to give to you so that you can receive and just, you know, be the master creator, but be patient because good things take time. So sit back, you know, you are the master creator, so choose the what and allow the how to happen. And with that, I'm complete, and I'll catch you all tomorrow. I hope you are staying warm or cool wherever you are in the world because we've all got different seasons happening at the moment. So um, I'm going to stoke the fire, and I'll catch you later. Bye.